I said this question. Uh, we've got uh, we've got propylic acid, or propylic acid ka hai ke. Uh, let me just open the board. As a propylic acid ka it occurs naturally as a as a result of the bacterial fermentation of milk. Okay, uh, here. Which starting materials can be used to produce propylic acid? So uh, to learn about this, uh, you would have to study a couple of things. How can propylic acid be produced? So one thing, one new thing that we're going to study is uh, is redox. So one thing that we'll study now is is redox reactions that involve specifically uh, alcohols. Okay. So so to answer this question. We would have to study this. So let me just get to this point. So I'll I'll quickly describe the redox reactions that involve alcohols, and there are three types of alcohols. So let me take a second. I'm going to argue. Yep. Okay, my point is there. So so let's start uh, discussing uh, redox. Uh, and it's it's redox reactions involving uh, involving alcohols. Uh, whenever we talk about reduction in oxidation, we're basically talking about uh, uh, gain or loss of oxygen. So it's either gain or loss of oxygen or hydrogen. I say if we cover this, we'll cover a big chunk of organic chemistry because a, a big chunk of organic chemistry is revolving around uh, uh, these redox reactions. Now, to learn about redox reactions, firstly, you would have to understand that there are three types of alcohols. There's a there's a primary alcohol, and let's stick to that first. Let's try and explain what a primary alcohol is. A primary alcohol is something that has. Uh, a primary alcohol looks like this. Okay, it's got an OH group. That is what an alcohol is. It's got an OH group. So it's got an OH group. And on two sides, it's going to have hydrogen atoms. So the carbon, this is known as the alpha carbon. Alpha carbon, wo carbon hota hai, which is only bonded to I say an alpha carbon is the carbon that is attached to the functional group. Like you have all sorts of molecules. Like if you if you look at any molecule, not all the atoms are alpha carbons. I mean, for example, just as an example, if I if I take this molecule, the carbons that are bonded to hydrogen, they're kind of inert, they're, they're unreactive. If I talk about alpha carbon, alpha carbon is this one. It's the carbon that is uh, attached to some functional group, like Cl in this case. This case with the alpha carbon is going to be this one. So whenever I use the term alpha carbon, I'm basically talking about uh, about the carbon which is attached to the functional group. So what's a primary alcohol? Primary alcohol is with the alpha carbon, the one that is bonded to H, it's only bonded to one carbon chain. So there's going to be there's going to be CH3, CH2, or a carbon chain on one side. That's that's about it. So it's a simple concept. That's what a primary alcohol is. Similarly, you have a secondary alcohol as well. So just like the name suggests, this terminology is very often used in organic chemistry, primary, secondary, and tertiary. It's not only limited to alcohols, it would be used uh, in many places. So a secondary alcohol is one where the carbon, again, the alpha carbon, the one that is attached to the OH group, that one. On two sides, it's bonded to a carbon chain. So it's bonded to a carbon chain on two sides. And on one side, there is a there is a hydrogen atom on one side. So that is what uh, what a secondary alcohol would look like. And then you have a you have a tertiary alcohol. Now when you Haji. Sir, uh, primary ke paas do H honge, secondary ke paas H honge, ye R ke represent karne? R carbon chain ko represent karta hai, hai? So R is a R is a carbon chain, hai? 
اچھا اور اسی طرح ٹریشی آلکول ہوگا ٹریشی آلکول از وین دا وین دا کاربن از باڈی ٹو ایچ اور آن آل تھری سائڈ یو گاڈ اے کاربن چین ٹھیک ہے ہر سائڈ پہ دس گوئنگ ٹو بی دس گوئنگ ٹو بی اے کاربن چین سو دیٹ از واٹ واٹ اے ٹریشی آلکول وڈ وڈ لک لائک ٹھیک ہے سو از دا کانسیپٹ کلیئر واٹس اے پرائمری واٹس اے سیکنڈری اینڈ واٹس اے واٹس اے ٹریشی آلکول ہاں جی this molecule and it's got acha so it's got these it's got lots of oh groups so there's an there's an oh group over here theek hai so there's uh, an oh group over here there's an oh group that's attached over here as well uh then there is an oh group that's attached over here as well Here, there's a there's an OH group that's attached on this side, and there's one OH group that let's say is attached over here. Um, one by one, I want to identify which one is what. Uh, so starting with the first one, is this primary, secondary, or tertiary alcohol? This one. How many carbon chains is it attached to? And remember, the focus is on this carbon atom. So. So how many carbon chains is this is this attached to? Kitni hai clearly nazar aa rahi hai. Ni kit ek hi hai baaki teen ke tarah hai iske sath. Ha sir wo niche wo actually wo baaki ki baat kar raha tha. Nahi nahi is carbon ki batao alpha carbon maine kaha carbon. Okay it is uh, one one carbon is there. So kaun sa hoga it's going to be it's going to be primary theek hai. To ye wala kaun sa this is this is primary right? اگلے پہ آ جائیے او ایچ دس از دی الفا کاربن ٹھیک ہے دس ون او ویئر اس کا بتاؤ کہ ہاؤ مینی ہاؤ مینی کاربن از دس اٹیچ ٹو دس ون یہ والا سر ایک نہیں اس کا دیکھو نا یہاں پہ تم کھڑے ہو کتنے کام ایک چین یہاں پہ اور ایک چین ادھر ہے دیر از اے چین آن دس سائڈ دیر از اے چین آن دس سائڈ ایز ویل تو کتنے ہو گئے سر تین ہو گیا کیونکہ آپ تین بتا رہے شو کر رہے تھے دو ہوں گے دو کاربن چینج ہے نا ایک یہ اور ایک یہ ٹھیک ہے تو دس از ٹو کاربن چینج تو کون سا ہوگا دس از گوئنگ ٹو بی دس از گوئنگ ٹو بی دس از گوئنگ ٹو بی اے سیکنڈری الکول ٹھیک ہے تو یہ والا سیکنڈری ہے اچھا پھر یہ والا کاربن یہ بھی او ایچ کے ساتھ ہے ہاؤ مینی ہاؤ مینی ہاؤ مینی کاربن چینج از دس ون اٹیچ ٹو they get it attached to our like there's a carbon chain on this side there's a carbon chain on this side so it's attached to how many three right three yeah the tertiary of the ye wala jo alcohol hai that's that's a tertiary alcohol aur isi tarah baaki ko identify kar lo uh ye wala kya hoga this one over here the which how many how many carbon chains is this attached to one so this is primary right wala ye jo alcohol hai na this is primary اوپر والا کیا ہے یہ والا کتنے سارے ٹاسٹ ہے دس ون ایک کاربن چینج سر ایک تو یہ اور اس کے سائڈ پہ بھی لائک ہے تو دو ہو گئے نا ایک اوپر ہے اور ایک سو اٹس اٹیچ ٹو ٹو سو دس ون از دس ون از سیکنڈری ٹھیک ہے تو کمنگ بیک ٹو دا پوائنٹ دا پوائنٹ واز یو ہیو ٹو فرسٹ آئیڈینٹیفائی پرائمری سیکنڈری اینڈ ٹرشری alcohols okay that was the first that was the first point you remember say the first time we have done this first time no okay sir you said that like hydrogen is depending on hydrogen is depending on carbon is depending on both are depending on right one carbon chain has two hydrogens so how many this is primary two carbons one hydrogen so that's secondary تھری کاربن چینج دیٹ میں نے کہا ایچ کو کاؤنٹ نہ کرو کیونکہ ایچ 
جو اسکریٹل فارمولا ہوتا ہے اس کے اندر ایج نظر ہی نہیں آ رہا ہوتا تو ایج گرنے کی ضرورت کیا ہے صرف کامن چینج کاؤنٹ کر لو سمجھ آئی بات مطلب ادھر پہلے تم ایج بناؤ گے پھر تم اس کو کاؤنٹ کرو گے اس سے بہتر ہے کہ سمپل کاربن چینج کاؤنٹ کر لو اس کے ساتھ ٹو کاربن چینج اس کے ساتھ تھری کاربن چینج اس کے ساتھ ٹو کاربن چینج اس کے ساتھ کاربن چینج دس ون ہیز ون کاربن چینج تو بس کاربن چینج کاؤنٹ کر لو ایج کاؤنٹ کرنے کی ضرورت ہاں سر یہ آپ سائنٹ برانچز کو لائک کاؤنٹ کریں یا اسے لائک کرانے دے رہے جو ڈائریکٹلی بانڈیڈ ہے اس کے ساتھ میں ڈائریکٹلی بانڈیڈ کی بات کر رہا ہوں میں تو صرف اس کاربن کی بات کر رہا ہوں میں نے کسی ادھر والے کاربن کی تو میں بات نہیں کر رہا میں تو صرف اس کی بات کر رہا ہوں یہ والا کتنے کاربن سے کنیکٹڈ ہے کتنی کاربن چینج کے ساتھ ایک ہی ہے تو بس اسی کی بات کرنی ہے صرف الفا کاربن کی بات کرنی ہے اس اس کی جا کے بات نہیں کرنی کہ یہ کتنے کے ساتھ بانڈیڈ ہے جب مطلب اس الکول کی اگر بات کرنی ہے تو صرف اس کی بات کرنی ہے ٹھیک ہے کلیئر اگر اس او ایچ کی بات کرنی ہے تو صرف اس کاربن کی بات کرنی ہے کہ ہاؤ مینی دیٹس ٹو کاربن چینج دیٹ سیکنڈری What is this? This اگر اس او ایچ کی بات کرنی ہے دیٹس اے ٹرشی الکول بیکاز بانڈی ٹو تھری کاربن چینج دس ون از بانڈی ٹو ٹو کاربن چینج دس ون از بانڈی ٹو ون کاربن چینج سو دیٹس وائی اٹس پرائمری ٹھیک ہے کلیئر اپ یہ امپورٹنٹ ہے ٹھیک ہے یو ہیو ٹو آئیڈینٹیفائی کریکٹلی وچ ون از پرائمری وچ ون از سیکنڈری اینڈ وچ ون از وچ ون از ٹرشی ٹھیک ہے موونگ آن اس کا کریں گے کیا اس کا کرنا یہ کہ بیکاز آل تھری وڈ وڈ گیٹ آکسائز ڈفرینٹلی سو اسٹارٹنگ ود فرسٹ ون یو گاٹ یور پرائمری الکولس اچھا یو گاڈ یور پرائمری الکولس نا پرائمری الکولس ول گیٹ آکسائز فرسٹ تھنگ دے ول گیٹ آکسائز اینڈ دے ول گیٹ آکسائز ٹو الڈیائڈس فرسٹ and after that they will get further oxidized to to carboxylic acids to you gonna pura chart hai that uh, so there's going to be this chart that you have to remember that primary alcohols they turn into aldehydes and then they turn into they turn into carboxylic acids or remember sirf wohi carbon jo hai na wo change hoga ha ji سر اس کا کوئی ریجنٹ یا تو So if I, if I look at this primary alcohol, right, only this carbon atom, this will turn into an aldehyde and then this one will turn into carboxylic acid. Nothing should happen to the rest of the molecule. This is a primary alcohol. It should turn into an aldehyde. It should then turn into carboxylic acid. But I'll show, I'll show you that later. First thing, reagents. Uh, the reagents that are used, uh, there are lots of reagents that can be used to oxidize this. Starting with the first one, that's uh, potassium dichromate 6. acidified potassium dichromate so it is acidified potassium uh dichromate 6 and it's uh, so it's uh, and reflux plus reflux or the proper word is heat with reflux gets k2 cr2 o7 acidified that means an acid is added 
So that's the formula. And there's a second reagent, which can do, it's not preferred, but it can do the same thing. And that's KMnO4. And that's also acidified. Uh, and that's known as acidified potassium magnate 7. Potassium magnate seven and also heat under the flux. So that's heat under reflux. Or it's be you have to remember the color change as well. The color change in this case is uh, is purple to it's purple to colorless. So it's uh, it's purple to colorless. I say, anyways, up a heat under reflux. What is what is heat under reflux? Uh, I'll show you a diagram of uh, of heating under reflux. You might get questions on this as well. So so this is uh, I think just a better diagram. This would be sufficient. So let's uh, just just quickly copy this and put it on the board. So I'll just I'll just quickly explain what this means. Okay, so here's the diagram on the board. So let's talk on this. Now, now heat and reflux. Uh, what is it, and why do you use it? Okay, it's just it's just you're heating it. And so also remember, organic compounds are not heated directly. So this, I mean, you should avoid a flame. Uh, it's either a water bath or it, you use uh, direct heating. The volatile, the, sorry, the flammable substances. I say, anyways, what is what is the reflux? This one is a condenser on top. So most organic compounds are volatile, which means that they would evaporate very, very quickly. And they would evaporate and they would try to leave the container. You don't want them to leave the container. Um, you want them to react with each other because if the whole thing evaporates, there's nothing left. So you don't get any products. So instead, what you do is you put a condenser on top so that if any molecule evaporates, it will get cooled down by the by the cold container and the liquid would fall back into the container. Like if it's an alcohol, alcohols are very, very, alcohols are extremely volatile. So, so you don't want them to evaporate. So, so it's just simple heating, it's normal heating, except that you put a, a condenser on top so that nothing is able to escape the container. Is that clear? Is one clear? So next part is okay, uh, Bakio is clear. So there is this clear, Aisha. Omar is this clear, Mahad. Okay. Now the next part is, uh, I mean, these are the two reagents. You should know the color changes, and your starting point could be an aldehyde as well. So if you can oxidize the aldehyde to a carboxylic acid as well. Uh, the way you oxidize an aldehyde is you use the same reagents. Okay, so the first two reagents are kind of the, are kind of the same. These ones. Let's go through us a chota kar lete hain. One second. Haan ji. Sir, wo maine puchna tha ki like ye to heat and reflux hai. Iska opposite kya hoga agar condenser na ho aur evaporate kar jaye? To phir tumhe milegi kuch nahi. Sari cheeze toh jayengi container se. Samjhe hi baat? ओके you could use a tolerance reagent now tolerance uh, reagent is basically uh, is silver dissolved in ammonia or silver ions dissolved in 
dissolved in ammonia. Yani if you put AgCl and dissolve it in ammonia, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get a Tollens reagent, which is going to be Ag plus one, and NH three two NH three would would be surrounding the Ag ions and it would have a plus one charge. So that's that's Tollens reagent. Anyways, that's an oxidizing agent. Uh, what it does is that uh, the observations would be silver mirror would be produced. And a black precipitate is produced. What happens to the silver is that the Ag plus ions get reduced to silver. So what basically happens is when you use a tolerance reagent, uh, what you're seeing is the silverish mirror is basically in the solution. What you're seeing is you're seeing uh, silver, silver getting formed on the top layer. Silver is very shiny, which is why you call it a silver mirror. Okay, solution is in front of you, and on top, uh, there's a silver layer that is forming on top of the solution. So you start calling it a silver mirror. Anyways, I'll just uh, give you an idea that what happens in this reaction is that uh, the Tollens reagent oxidizes the aldehyde into a carboxylic acid. And when it's doing that, at the same time, what happens to it is that itself gets reduced. Uh, the silver ions, they get reduced. The aldehyde gets oxidized, the silver ions, they get reduced during the, during the reaction. So you just don't need to go into the detail. Just remember that it's, uh, it's acting as an oxidizing agent. And there's another one, which okay. is Hanji. Sir, you have alcohol to aldehyde with aldehyde to carboxylic acid. Aldehyde to carboxylic acid. Yeah. फिर इसी तरह जो अगला वाला है ठीक है फोर्थ इज गोइंग टू बी डिफरेंट अच्छा फोर्थ इज गोइंग टू बी डिफरेंट एज वेल कि फोर्थ क्या है कि फोर्थ इज फोर्थ इज फिलिंग सोल्यूशन अच्छा फिलिंग सोल्यूशन इज इज इसके अंदर ना वो ऑब्जर्वेशन इज दैट द ब्लू कॉपर टू आइंस फिलिंग सोल्यूशन एज कॉपर टू प्लस आइंस दे गेट रिड्यूस टू अब they get reduced to copper one oxide which is basically the observation is a brick red precipitate is formed so brick red precipitate forms and that's that's about it so brick red precipitate forms to do extra reagents are for oxidizing for oxidizing uh ye ठीक है तो ये दो एक्स्ट्रा जो है ना तो टोटल चार हो जाते हैं सो दे फोर डिफरेंट रिएजेंट्स दैट कैन डू द जॉब फॉर यू तो अ प्राइमरी अल्कोहल विल टर्न इनटू एन एल्डिहाइड एंड एल्डिहाइड विल टर्न इनटू अ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड यू कुड यूज पोटेशियम डाइक्रोमेट 6 और यू कुड यूज पोटेशियम मैग्नेट 7 टू टर्न एल्डिहाइड इनटू कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड्स देयर आर टू अदर्स दैट कैन बी यूज्ड एंड दैट्स टॉलेंस एंड and you have any of filling solution theek okay? hai and you should remember the observation in each case is that clear yes sir acha now the thing is let's say we start off with a primary alcohol the reaction is not going to stop at an aldehyde it will eventually end up forming a carboxylic acid why the reaction never stops at aldehydes because you're using reflux if you use reflux no molecules can get out of the container the matlab they're stuck in the container so the reaction will just continue it will just continue because the, because the reagents are not able to or the molecules that are forming are not able to escape the container so the reaction will just simply continue and it will end you'll end up with with carboxylic acids so aldehydes pe agar if you want to stop at an aldehyde what you should do is if you want to stop at an aldehyde so what you should do is uh Let's go a second. 
So this is for stopping the reaction. This is for stopping the reaction at aldehydes. And they might ask you a detailed question about this. How do you stop the reaction at aldehydes? So there, there's one major change that you should do, and that is stop using a condenser on top. Stop using reflux. So instead of heat with reflux, So don't reflux, use distillation apparatus instead. So use distillation instead of reflux. So, huh. so in my difference here, okay, reflux complete or distillation half of it. हाँ लेकिन डिस्लेशन वो क्वेश्चन है कि डिस्लेशन क्यों यहाँ पे रुक जाएगा ठीक है रिफ्लक्स का तो क्लियर है ना कि रिफ्लक्स नथिंग कैन गेट आउट ऑफ़ द कंटेनर सो द रिएक्शन विल गो टू कंप्लीशन राइट क्लियर है यस अच्छा तो अब क्वेश्चन दूसरा ये कि व्हाई डस डिस्लेशन स्टॉप एट आलियाज ठीक है मतलब व्हाई डस इट स्टॉप एट आलियाज अगर मैं डिस्लेशन का भी ऑपरेटर्स क्विकली निकाल लूं ना सो दिस नॉन मेजर डिफरेंस बिटवीन बिटवीन डिस्लेशन एंड रिफ्लक्स सो लेट मी जस्ट कोई सिंपलेस्ट पॉसिबल डायग्राम ऑफ डिस्लेशन अच्छा लेट्स जस्ट गो विद कौन सा सिंपल है बस ठीक है इसी के साथ काम चलाते हैं अच्छा लेट्स कॉपी इमेज अच्छा तो यहाँ पे डिफरेंस क्या है इसमें इसमें डिफरेंस ये लेट्स से यू हैव अ प्राइमरी अल्कोल एस सून एस द प्राइमरी अल्कोल टर्न्स इनटू एन अल्डिहाइड ठीक है लेट्स से देस अ देस अ रिएक्शन गोइंग ऑन एंड यहाँ पे ना कंटेनर में देस अ रिएक्शन गोइंग ऑन प्राइमरी अल्कोल जो ना इट टर्न्ड इन And the aldehyde is supposed to turn into a carboxylic acid. ठीक है, but it will not turn into a carboxylic acid. And there's a reason for that. The reason is that is as soon as the aldehyde is produced, the aldehyde would evaporate, and it will leave the container. So the aldehyde would travel, and it would travel to the other side, and you'll get the aldehyde. You'll collect the aldehyde at the other end. So you will mix it separately. So no further reaction would be would be possible because as soon as the aldehyde is produced, it will evaporate and leave the container, and you you can collect it at the other end. Clear? Yes, sir. The question is, why are the rest evaporating? So in three of them. किसका मेल्टिंग पॉइंट सबसे लो है अल्कोहल्स हैव व्हाट ग्रुप अल्कोहल्स हैव ओएच ग्रुप राइट इफ दे हैव ओएच ग्रुप्स 78 अच्छा नहीं अल्कोहल के पास ओएच ग्रुप है तो ओएच ग्रुप व्हाट टाइप ऑफ इंटरमोकुलर फोर्स वुड बी प्रेजेंट इन अल्कोहल्स मतलब व्हेन यू हैव ओएच ग्रुप्स व्हाट व्हाट इंटरमोकुलर फोर्स डू यू हैव सर वैनवाल जो भी नहीं ओएच ग्रुप्स एनीवन ऑस्फा बाहर सिद्रा एनीवन मूव सर वो हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड हो सकता है यार ठीक है सो इट इस इट इस हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड्स ठीक है तो दिस वन इस दिस वन इस हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड्स ठीक है सो तो उसमें अब उसकी वो रीजन वो पूछते हैं कि भाई व्हाई आर यू गेटिंग एलिएट ओनली एट द अदर साइड तो आप उसकी Why does the reaction stop at aldehydes? The reason is that alcohols and carboxylic acids have OH groups. Acids they both have OH groups. Okay. 
which is why they have slightly higher boiling points. This means that the aldehyde is converted into carboxylic acid. Some of the aldehyde might get converted into carboxylic acids. But it's not that the reaction is 100% reaction stopping. Uh, but on the other side, you'll be getting a pure aldehyde because aldehydes don't have OH groups. So hence, alcohols and carboxylic acids, uh, hence they have higher boiling points. So they have higher boiling points compared to compared to aldehydes. That's a compared to uh, aldehydes because they don't they don't have O bonded to H. So mm -hmm. alde so aldehyde is more volatile. G. So, the aldehyde is a C double bond O or is it a C double bond O? What is it? Aldehyde is a C double bond O and H is a C double bond O. I don't understand. This is aldehyde. C double bond O, right? So, what are you saying? No, sir. I was saying that H is a C double bond O. So, like, o, both hydrogen bond. O, hydrogen bond is a hydrogen bond. is a hydrogen bond. is a hydrogen bond. Or is a hydrogen bond. Or is it a hydrogen bond? Or is it a hydrogen bond? a hydrogen bond? Or is it 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 a hydrogen Okay, anyway, so uh, you reasoning like me and TK, you have to tell the alcohols, carboxylic acids have OH groups. Hence, they have higher boiling points compared to aldehydes, uh, which is more volatile. Hence, it evaporates first. Yeah, hence, it can be distilled easily. So, it can be distilled easily from the mixture. Or obviously, if it leaves the mixture, then no further oxidation would would take place. Okay? So make sure you remember this, that uh, you can convert a primary alcohol to an aldehyde and aldehyde into a carboxylic acid. These are all the conditions. These are the conditions for aldehydes turning into carboxylic acids, etc. Okay? Now, uh, what about secondary alcohols? That's the first one. Okay? What, about, what about secondary alcohols? Secondary alcohols, by one of those secondary alcohols, uh, kind of have the same reaction, except they turn into ketones. Even the conditions are the same. So if you have a secondary alcohol, it's going to end up as a, as a ketone. And if I have a molecule that's a secondary alcohol, it's got uh, the carbon has an OH. And there are two carbon chains that are attached to it. Now, again, remember, it's this alpha carbon. That is the one that will undergo all the, all the changes. Now, this alpha carbon will eventually turn into a ketone. The carbon would be there. This R chain would also be there. The carbon will turn into a ketone. It will turn into a double bond. And oh, that's that's it. The alpha carbon, it turns into a, it turns into a ketone. That's it. Or is your conditions are the, the kind of the same conditions? Uh, they're the same conditions. Primary alcohols turning into. So I'll just copy paste the same conditions. See here, almost no difference. And ketones are not further oxidized. Ketones are resistant to. Also remember, ketones don't get oxidized. Unlike aldehydes, ketones don't undergo oxidation. So they are they are resistant to oxidation. Are not oxidized further. 
And that is also one of the major differences between aldehydes and ketones. They look kind of the same. They have serial bond O. That one also has a serial bond O. This serial bond O is in the mid middle of the chain. The aldehyde serial bond O is at the end of the chain. So, so the major difference between aldehyde and ketones is one of the major differences that, that, that aldehydes are oxidized. And this is one difference from which you can differentiate an aldehyde from a from a ketone. Major dif major difference between aldehydes and and ketones. So aldehydes are oxidized. Ketones don't get oxidized. They get oxidized and ketones don't. Okay, so that's the major, major difference. I said, then you have a tertiary alcohol. Uska saan hai. Tertiary alcohol ki oxidation hoti nahi hai. Okay, they don't get oxidized. So the last one, number three, tertiary alcohols. You don't have to write anything about this. Tertiary alcohols are not oxidized. Are not oxidized. And they're very resistant to. They're very resistant, resistant to oxidation. So you've got primary alcohols. You've got uh, second. You've got. You've got tertiary. Ek iska ulta bhi hota reaction. Theek hai, ulta bhi kar lete hai. You can You can do the opposite reaction as well. Which is the carboxylic acid. Okay, just the carbon that is that is involved in the carboxylic acid can be turned back into an aldehyde. So this carboxylic acid can be turned back into an aldehyde and it can be further reduced back to a forward oxidation, reverse atevena, it's a, it's a reduction. So you can do reduction by this one would be LIALH4. LIAL. H4. Sir? Yes. Sir, is it a Reducing agent, okay? It's a reagent. Those are the oxidizing agents. These are all oxidizing agents. So, LILH4, and then these are all oxidizing agents. So, LILH4, and then these are all oxidizing agents. So, LILH4, and then these are all oxidizing agents. So, LILH4, and then these are all and you can also use NABH4 in this case. I think this is a lithium aluminum hydride. That's our uh, NABH4, that's sodium borohydride. Or it's called sodium hydrate of borate. Be kept in. Okay, it's called say multiple name. We'll see. Let's see. Okay, one second. NaBH4. Well, uh, sodium borohydrate. Yeah, you've written. It's the sodium tetrahydrate of borate. That's also its name. Sodium tetrahydroborate. That's also its name. But it's just this. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Yes. Sir, you can check. Mark scheme may check us take your scheme at a make your dignity. New screen the year. Like was maybe change with that. We fixed here. Or Mala X is the other X is the other time. I say market scheme general was a guide at Hika. Abagar Yelikogana to be say up again. Uh, you are a sodium tetrahydrate of borate lekoga. Will be say sodium tetrahydrate of hydroborate lekoga. That would also be the same. Tika Likin Yvala the Blick Hotha market scheme at Hika. Clear? Yes, sir. So, even if there are reactions that you have not read, if you have, let's say, if you have acid to primary alcohol, mein convert karna na, there would be some other reaction as well, which let's say, course not in the course. If you have a reaction, na, jo ke, let's say, you have to study at master's level, or some such reaction, then you will get marks. Okay? Yeah. If you are saying that you have to convert primary alcohol to primary alcohol, 
तो ये तो हमने वो रिएक्शन लिखे हैं खाली जो हमारे कोर्स में ठीक है तो आप उस इसलिए उस इतना वो मार्ग स्कीम के बीच में ना पढ़ना कि ये नाम लिखना है कि नहीं लिखना है ठीक है वो दैट विल बी करेक्ट सम सम सब्सटेंसेस हैव मल्टीपल नेम्स ठीक है अच्छा एनीवेज ये आ, उसको भी रिड्यूस कर लेते हैं वो कहां है सेकेंडरी व्हाट सेकेंडरी अल्कोहल्स टर्निंग इनटू टर्निंग इनटू कीटोन्स वी कैन वी कैन रिड्यूस दैट एज़ वेल और इसकी थोड़ी सी ना वी विल डू सम प्रैक्टिस के You can turn a ketone back into a secondary alcohol, uh, the same reagents NaBH4, or you could use uh, LiAlH4. Okay, so you could use the same reagents. So, वापस आज दे. Let's do one question. Let's do one question. के we had this molecule, right? इसको थोड़ा सा नीचे कर लेते हैं. अच्छा, so we had we had this molecule. Let's Try and oxidize it. ये बस एक example करते हैं. अच्छा let's कहाँ गया हमारा molecule जो हमने पहले बनाया था. अच्छा this one over here. Uh, तो ठीक है. अच्छा let's try and oxidize it. So that's the molecule. अब बारी बारी प्राइमरी अल्कोहल एंड लेट्स से आई एम यूजिंग केमनो फोर एंड आई एम यूजिंग रिफ्लक्स ठीक है सो प्राइमरी अल्कोहल शुड टर्न इनटू ए कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड इवेंचुअली इट विल टर्न इनटू एन एल्डिहाइड एंड देन इट विल टर्न इनटू ए कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड अगर इफ आई हैड यूज्ड डिस्टिलेशन द प्राइमरी अल्कोहल वुड टर्न इनटू एन एल्डिहाइड ओनली अच्छा सेकेंडरी अल्कोहल उससे किस में कन्वर्ट होना है इट शुड गेट कन्वर्टेड इनटू अ इनटू अ कीटोन टर्शियरी अल्कोहल दे विल हैव नो ऑक्सीडेशन अच्छा फिर और क्या हाँ जी सर एक्चुअली लाइक वो कनेक्शन डिसकनेक्ट हो गया तो टर्शरी का मुझे समझ नहीं आ कि वो फर्दर ऑक्सीडेशन क्यों नहीं होती नहीं एक तो वो समझने की जरूरत नहीं उसकी फर्दर ऑक्सीडेशन होती नहीं है उसकी वजह रीजन सिंपल सी है कि जो कार्बन कार्बन बॉन्ड होता है ना अगर तीनों साइडों में कार्बन हो तो कार्बन कार्बन बॉन्ड आर वेरी स्टेबल तो मतलब अगर जब वो ओ लेट्स से अगर इसको ऑक्साइज होना ना एच लूज करेगा वो डबल बॉन्ड बनेगा नहीं क्योंकि यू वुड हैव टू ब्रेक द कार्बन कार्बन बॉन्ड व्हिच इज वेरी स्टेबल ठीक है क्लियर यस सर तो सर लाइक ये स्टेप वाइज होगा प्राइमरी में लाइक कंप्लीट होगा फिर सेकेंडरी में थोड़ा सा कम हो जाएगा उसके फर्दर ऑक्सीडेशन हो गई हां कीटोन भी इसलिए फर्दर ऑक्साइज नहीं होता ना क्योंकि क्योंकि उसको फर्दर ऑक्साइज करने के लिए अब अब मसला है कि अगर मैंने कोई और ओ ऐड करना है या ओएच ऐड करना है इफ आई वांट टू ऐड अनदर ऑक्सीजन तो कार्बन कार्बन का बॉन्ड तोड़ना पड़ेगा ना तभी वो ऐड होगा ना वरना तो उसके चार बॉन्ड्स पूरे हैं क्लियर है यस सर वो प्राइमरी की हो जाती थी प्राइमरी में ऐड हो जाते थे क्योंकि वो आपको कार्बन चेन तोड़नी नहीं पड़ती थी कि क्योंकि एच था ना जब वो एल्डिहाइड बनता था तो एच तोड़ दो उसकी जगह एक और ओ ऐड फिट कर दो ठीक है तो उसके अंदर कार्बन कार्बन बॉन्ड वाज नॉट ब्रेकिंग ठीक है उसके पास ऑप्शंस थे कि उसके पास दो पहले एक हाइड्रोजन जाता है फिर दूसरा हाइड्रोजन भी चला जाता है मतलब वो इस था ना कि हाइड्रोजन का बॉन्ड टूट जाता है ठीक है आइडिया क्लियर है यस अच्छा चलो ये मैं सेकेंडरी अल्कोहल इसको कर लेते हैं कंप्लीट जल्दी से खत्म करते हैं सेकेंडरी अल्कोहल इज गोइंग टू बी कीटोन राइट सो इट विल टर्न इन टू एटोन तो आपने क्या करना है आपने मॉलिक्यूल को उठाओ ओनली द अल्फा कार्बन ओनली द अल्फा कार्बन विल अंडर गो अ चेंज तो यानी अगर मैंने इस कार्बोक्सिक एसिड बनाना ना तो ये जो अल्फा कार्बन था ना ये जो एच था इसको कार्बोक्सिक एसिड होना चाहिए सो आई एम गोइंग मेक इट आई एम टर्न इट इनटू ए कार्बोक्सिक एसिड दैट्स इट क्लियर है सारी चेंजेस और मैंने गलत वाले पे कर दिया एक सेकेंड में सही वाले पे करूं जस्ट वन सेकेंड सर हाँ जी सर वो जो आप क्या करते हैं अल्फा कार्बन के बारे में कि अब वो करने ना इसको कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड बनाना है इट्स गोइंग टू गेट ऑक्साइज टू कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड ठीक है वही हमने कहा था ना प्राइमरी अल्कोहल किस में टर्न होता है टर्न्स इनटू अ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड एल्डिहाइड और फिर कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड ठीक है तो अगर मैं इसको कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड में कन्वर्ट करना है तो मैं सब कुछ हटाऊंगा वो जो अल्फा कार्बन है ना उसी को चेंज कर दूंगा दैट विल टर्न इनटू ए दैट विल टर्न इनटू अ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड मतलब बाकी मॉलिक्यूल को कुछ नहीं होगा 
वो जो अल्फा कार्बन है दैट विल टर्न इनटू अ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड ये सेकेंडरी अल्कोहल था ना दैट विल टर्न इनटू अ कीटोन सो आई एम गोइंग टू टर्न इट इनटू अ कीटोन आई एम गोइंग टू टर्न इट टर्न द अल्फा कार्बन इनटू अ इनटू अ कीटोन अच्छा फिर टर्शियल अल्कोहल नथिंग शुड हैपन टू इट नो ऑक्सीडेशन सो नथिंग शुड हैपन टू इट सो आई एम गोइंग टू लीव इट एज इट इज नथिंग शुड हैपन टू इट मतलब वो एच वापस ही कर दो अच्छा देन अगेन यू दिस दिस अल्कोहल विल टर्न इनटू अ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड तो वो अल्फा कार्बन विल टर्न इनटू ए इट विल टर्न इनटू अ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड डबल बॉन्ड ओ एंड ओएच uh this is a secondary alcohol it will turn into a ketone so it should turn into the alpha carbon which is marked here when that is the one that's going to turn into a it's going to turn into a ketone so that's that is the product of the of the reaction yani the rest of the molecule nothing should happen to it all the changes will happen to the alpha carbon it's Okay, it's this one. This is a primary alcohol. This should turn into a carboxylic acid. This is this is exactly what I did to this carbon atom. This one over here will turn into a. It's a. It should turn into a ketone. Nothing should happen to the tertiary alcohol. Primary alcohol. It should turn into a carboxylic acid. So it's this carbon atom that will turn into a carboxylic. Acid. This carbon atom will turn into a ketone. Is that clear? Yes, sir. तो ठीक है फिर बग, अब बगली टाइम फिर वो करते हैं इसका तो रिमेम्बर ये जो है ना दिस इज अ मेजर चंक ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री विच वी वी हैव व्हिच आर डन विद के रिडक्शन एंड ऑक्सीडेशन बोथ ठीक है वी हैव रिटन डाउन ऑल द रिएजेंट्स उसके अंदर हमने सारी तकरीबन चीजें कर ली हैं ठीक है तो दैट्स दैट्स अ मेजर चंक दैट वी जस्ट कवर्ड इस एग्जांपल को और से स्टडी कर लेना ठीक है बाकी फिर पास पेपर क्वेश्चंस करेंगे वी विल डू मोर क्वेश्चंस सिमिलर टू दिस ठीक है तो लेट्स कंटिन्यू नेक्स्ट टाइम हां जी सर वो लिथियम का पार्ट शो करें इसके लिए आपने क्या लिखा था क्या नाम था उसका यार मैं नाम जो लिखा था लिथियम हाइड एलिम एल्युमिनियम हाइड्राइड ये या सर वो रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट और हां हां ओके सर बस ये ले लो बोर्ड लिंक में भेज दूं ठीक है वो पिसा वाला बोर्ड लिंक हटा दो मैं इस वाले बोर्ड को ना कंप्लीट कर रहा हूं ठीक है इस पे सारे नोट्स लिखे होंगे तो हम पास पेपर अब करेंगे फुल पास पेपर ही करेंगे हम इन नोट्स को रेफर करेंगे ठीक है क्योंकि इसमें हमने सारी चीजें ऐड की हुई है चलो ये मैं भेज रहा हूं उसके ऊपर लिंक भी भेज रहा हूं उसके ऊपर ठीक है ओके देन ओके सर लास्ट